This video shows how to create a process automation with stages. To get started, I logged in with an account that has administrative access, so I can go to Administration, Process Release, because this is where Stages maintains all the automations. The automations consist of states in this menu here. Working with a set of participants, which are users that participate in process automation. In our case, we will mainly work with the process reviewer. And then finally here, in this menu, the actual automations. Let's get started on a simple process release automation. We create the automation itself, and you can see that every automation automatically has a start step. And after the start of the automation, we would like to create a new version. So we add a new step. And from the selection of available steps, we say create process version. Because the first step of our process release is to create a new version, and that version should have the state under review. Because it is not yet released, and we want to start with a process review. So the version will automatically be created and set in that state under review. And if that state doesn't exist yet, just simply create it here in the states menu. We add the first step and after the creation of a process version, we would like to send out an email to all reviewers. We select send email and modify the name because potentially we could send out more emails. The process should not change its state anymore, so it should stay under review. And of course, we could add a subject and in that make use of the user full name variable provided. Let's put that into the message and complete it as you like. To be consistent, it helps to use other variables as well, which will be translated correctly for your specific process release. So now it's easier to complete the subject from the message text. Use version description as well. And of course, thank the users for their participation. And now can simply copy that into the subject. In participants, you can define who should receive the email. Those are the process reviewers, and that's it. We have to find the next step in our automation. We have sent our email to the reviewers and now of course we want them to start the review. So the next step is actually a manual step where users are involved. And that is the actual process review. The processes should still stay in the under review state. We want the process reviewers to act and we ask them to provide a comment. That is not really required, as you will see in a minute, but let's ask them for a comment and we will add that step, which is our actual process review. And after that step, we would like to release the process. But before the process gets released, it will only be released when all the reviewers actually have given their OK. And we want the OK button to be in green and we also want, if we have many reviewers, that all the reviewers agree. So we say all participants must agree. And after all participants agree, we would like to put the process in the release state. Potentially, we could also say if any of the reviewers do not react within three days, then automatically the process will be marked as automatically released, so we can turn that on as well. 
Well, what happens if one of the reviewers says no? In this case, we add another step to say this is an end step. So we say the review has failed. The user should say not OK, and it should be in red. It's sufficient if just one of the reviewers disagrees, so we leave this as one participant must agree. And if that happens, we want to put the process in the invalid state. Of course, we do not do this automatically, although it would be possible. As we have created the step for the process being released, we want to add another step to set the state of the previous valid version to obsolete. This happens only on success of the process release. We don't want to change the state of our release process version, but the previous version should set its state to obsolete. And at the very end, we would like to inform all of our users of the new process version, so we sent another email. Again, state stays the same. It won't, I won't define the email now, you have already seen that earlier in the video, but I would send the email to all process roles of that process. And that's it. That's all we need to do to define an automation. Let's test it out. We log in as a user and test our new automation. We go into an area here, select management, and process versions, where we start our new automation. Now here I can pick process release. And there you go. The users that will be the reviewers are Peter, and we are asked to provide a new version name, so we call it version 1 to 12. We can add a version description, for instance, on the main changes being made. And now I, when we start the automation, we can see it works as created. Stages creates in the background this new process version 12. And we can see all the steps are being followed. Created the version, sent out an email to the reviewers, and now Peter is about to do the process review. Let's see how that works. Lock in is Peter, and Peter got his process review right here. So you can open his task. You can see here in the automation, we've asked the reviewer to provide a comment, although that's not mandatory. And here you can see the two buttons we have defined. The green OK and the red not OK button. Let's click on OK. And with that, Peter's job is done. So what happens next? I lock back in as Sarah. What has happened in the background? You can see that version 12 was released. Even the users are informed that it was released, so it looks like it worked. And if I look at my version here, I can see the version is marked as valid and released, and the previous valid version has been set to obsolete. If I'd like to see the full version history of my process, I can look through the history here and see what happened. And that's really all there is to, us, to it for now. A couple of more steps are there, but I feel free to explore for yourself. Those should be the basics that will enable you to create your own automation. If you struggle with it or if you need more advice or you have any suggestions, the Stages consultants will be happy to help you.